Hey, what's going on guys? It's James Fritz here, and today I'm going to be actually showing you a little project that I'm working on, and it's kind of like a, I guess you could say, a shelving unit, and what I did was I actually made it out of like old Xbox game cases, and because I had really a lot of them laying around from back when I used to play Xbox, and so I figured I would share you with you guys how I did it, because it came out really good in my opinion, because it kind of looks like the cases are just floating there, as you can see. I think it looks really nice, and it's very sturdy. As you can see, I'm kind of actually pushing pretty hard on it, and it's not giving at all. I uh, actually put like my drill on it before and didn't even bend or give at all. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this because I don't know if I could share it with you guys because I know someone out there would enjoy it and, you know, probably find a use for it and maybe probably do it better than me. So uh, I'm gonna, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Alright, so some things that you're going to need is you're going to need a some sort of screws that have nuts. I got this set. It was really cheap, so I just ended up going with that. You, of course, need your Xbox case. And then, this is optional. I found it a lot easier to use a Dremel. Um, a Dremel, or if you don't have a Dremel, you can use like a pair of shears, which also works. But it's a little bit, not as like clean of a job. And it's a little bit more annoying, but you can use the shears instead. That's what I was originally using. But a Dremel is definitely way to go. Um, you're also going to need a either a drill or a screwdriver. Uh, it really depends on you know how you're going to be mounting it. Um, the drill would be for, you know, um, actually, I'm sorry, you do need to drill no matter what uh, to drill some of the holes and then, um, the, of course, to mount it. You need some L brackets. Um, these are the ones that I used. Um, I really wouldn't actually recommend them because, as you can see, they have this little, like, arch here. So I would try to get some that are completely flat. Um, these were, like, $2 each. They're really cheap. Um, yeah, and that's really it. And you're just going to need two for each of the shelving units that you want to do. Um... And that's really it. Um, you know, need a pen, of course, you know, to make your marks, and some super glue if you have that too. Um, comes in handy. But other than that, that's really just about it. Um, make sure that you guys are wearing some safety glasses, or if you have glasses on, that's perfectly fine. Um, you all, because while I was doing this, actually, a lot of plastic was flying around. So uh, if I didn't have my glasses on, it definitely would hit me in the face. So you don't want that happening, and also wear long sleeves because and a and uh, gloves because I once again figured that out the hard way because I was getting shards of plastic up in my uh, arm. So uh, yeah, and then like I said, super glue of course if you need that. Um, I use it to help keep the case closed. All right, so let's get onto it. All right, so we're gonna get right on into it. So what you're gonna want to do is first off, you're gonna open up your case. You're gonna take out any of the crap that's in it. Um, if you want to keep it, hold on to it. Uh, make sure you, of course, take out the disc. Um, and then what you actually would want to do next is take out the actual paper. Now, this is important that you take this out at this part. Otherwise, you're going to probably make a mistake. Now, if for some reason you screw up the case and you decide you, you, it's best to start over, you still got the paper, so you could always, you know, put this, uh, put this paper into, you know, a uh, case that for a game that you may not as may not like as much um so yeah um next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take your case you're gonna get your bracket and now you're gonna figure out where you want your bracket so i always like to do it on the sides like right about here um so as you can see there's this little bump right here i don't know if you guys can see that hold on, let's, hold on one second let's get our focus right there so as you can see there's this little um it's a little groove right, or this little bump right here, so the bracket won't fully sit on this. We're going to have to cut that out. So this is where a Dremel really does come in handy, having a Dremel. Um, and same thing on this side. We're going to have to cut a little bit of this, this edge out. And then we're just going to have to make the cutouts for the bracket on both sides, the top and the bottom. So let's get right on into that. Okay. So now that we've got a pretty good idea of where we're going to want it, we're going to want to, we're going to, want to draw... With a some sort of marker, I found that these uh, sharpie pens actually worked because the actual sharpies were just not working whatsoever. So I'm gonna take a, my uh, sharpie marker or pen. I'm gonna draw a little line there on either side so I know about where I want where I want it. Oh, of course, now it's now what you're gonna want to make sure is that you don't put it too far to the edge because then kind of won't be very strong. And then, yeah, so 
now that we got that all set up, now we got our line. So you can't really see it because it was a very small line. Now we got that set up, we're going to actually take our Dremel. And I, what I like to do now is uh, make a little like cut into each side so then I get a good idea of where it is and do the same thing with the tops. Let's get right on into that. Alright, so now we got our little incisions. And then you want to take this piece right here off this little tab. Just snap it right off. It comes off so easily. Take both of those off because they're just going to come in the, get in the way later. So we don't want those there anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to want to make sure I, I'm gonna, I... What I like to do is I close the case. And that way I can see the incisions. And then that way I can make sure that it's perfectly equal on both sides. Now you don't want to take too much off the bottom and too much off the top. You want to kind of separate it equally. So now that I got this a little bit open, mark there, and mark there. So now I got my marks. Uh, as you can see, I kind of went a little too short there, so I'm going to adjust that a little bit. There we go. Almost perfectly lined up. All right, now you really don't have to be too perfect with this. You can be kind of messy. It doesn't really make a difference because this is going to be against the wall anyway, so no one's really going to see it. All right, so now that we got our marks all done, we're going to want to cut this piece out here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut that out real quick. All right, so we got that all cut out. Now we're going to start taking out the pieces on the sides right here. Now, something you want to know, this is just common sense when it comes to working or well, anytime you're cutting something out. A uh, good thing to know is, because not many people actually do know this, is always cut a little bit short because then you can always take more off. You can never add any material back. So that's a little, just a quick tip because I've seen a lot of people make that mistake. So let's get right on into that and start cutting these pieces out. So we got one side done. Looks pretty good. And now we're gonna do take out the top part. All right, top part done. Now you can see we got a little cutout for that. And you're gonna want to do the same thing on the other side. And and then that's pretty much the everything you need to do related to cutting. So uh, I'm gonna do that real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, now we got both sides cut out. Now this is what it's, it's going to look similar to. Now every Xbox case doesn't look exactly the same, so I saw a couple of them that were a little bit different. Um, so when you close it, now just know it's not going to stay snap closed because you cut out the pieces that were that do the snapping. But uh, you should have two little rectangles like that. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you're not going to be seeing it. No one's going to be looking at it and you know analyzing how you did it because it's actually not even possible. All right, so what you want to do now is take your one of your brackets and we're going to want to get it in a good position where it's not too far or not too close to the case. You want a little bit extra hanging out um, there. Let me, hold, let me zoom her in there. All right, there we go. So as you can see, I... Um, I moved a little bit, moved it a little bit out. Now it, it's really just you're gonna have to judge for yourself because you don't want it too close to it, but you also don't want it too far because then you're not gonna get, you know, good, you know, sorry, the holes are are gonna be too far close to the edge and it's not gonna stay very well. So I would say right about there is a good spot in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker, hold on, there we go, open it with my mouth. Oh god, where'd that cap go? Oh well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna draw in the holes. Now, this is in case I well not in case, it's gonna happen. So when it moves, when I'm drilling, I don't lose I already moved it as you can see. I don't lose or forget where I want everything to be. So that way everything comes out lined up. So now you can see there's the the three holes are the three lines the one right there and then the two right there for the back all right oh i had to get my cap there all right so now that we got that what you want to do is 
I like to start with the front one first because that one um that one will hold everything else in hopefully okay let's see here all right so once we get that we're gonna take our drill put a drill bit on it of course uh, where are my drill bits here it is now I'm sure you could probably do this with just a screwdriver if you don't have a drill because it, it, you're actually not going through too much. It's just with a drill it makes it a lot easier. Now something you want to know is you don't want to drill it in fast because it doesn't really catch on very quickly and it won't go through. So I noticed that if you drill slower it actually goes a lot better. Now actually I'm sorry for this part you're going to want to actually put the the paper for the game case back in. So let's do that because otherwise you're not going to have the holes for for the bolts actually in the case or in the paper so then it's not going to go through all right so yeah it looks like lined up no we did not get it lined up it was getting stuck on sometimes yeah like this for example yeah the plastic will actually melt from the dremel and it'll cause a little bit of issues but always easily fixable Alright, now you're just going to want to make sure it's per this is actually kind of important that you get it perfectly lined because you're not going to be able to move this around later. I mean, you always can change it out to a different or different paper if you decide that. Alright, so it looks pretty good. Hold on, it's a little bit bubbled. Alright, that seems to be pretty good. Alright, okay. So, now let's take our drill, take our bracket, back over here, over here. Uh, oh gosh, this is a red marker and the actual inside of this cover is red, so not very easy to find my marks. Oh shit, sorry about that. Alright, there we go. So it looks like right about where I had it. Yeah, now this is a really... Alright, so now that was actually really too close to the edge, as you can see. I kind of screwed that one up, but not even a really big deal if you screw it up like that, because you're not really going to be looking at it. The main real estate you're going to be looking at is the side right there, so not a big deal. No one's really going to be staring at under under your shelf. All right. So now, all right. So now what I like to do is I like to screw in the first one in the front so then that way everything stays a little bit more lined up better. Now you're going to want to take a bolt that is, you know, thick enough for your for the hole that you have like this one and you want it to be pretty short. So you don't want it too. You don't want it too long because then it's gonna. You're gonna notice it under it. Um, if you do have a long one, you can also take the Dremel and take a bit that would cut the metal and just you know cut it right off. All right. Okay. I took off my gloves because we're not gonna be doing anything else with the Dremel for now. So there's no really point in having it. Now I actually did this with a couple of the other ones. What I actually did was. Um, took the sander bit, this this guy right here, and I uh, sanded it down to, you know, make it a little bit more smooth and just a little tidy it up a little bit better. So yeah, you're just going to want to screw it in on one side and put the the nut on the other and tighten it as much as you can. Um, don't, you don't want to tighten it too much right now so then that way it has a little bit of movement. Um, we're going to get into tightening it in, in a little bit, in the, a little bit, because you want to make sure you do it correctly. It's actually, actually, there's a correct way to do it. Yeah, also you're going to want to make sure you do this on like a wood bench or something like that. Something that's not important because you're probably going to go through it because it is pretty thin. So we're going to get another one of these guys. And this, this whole setup or this whole shelving unit really cost me the price of the cases. I just had these laying around 
And then this was like, I think like 10 bucks and that's for all these nuts and bolts and you probably don't need, you don't need all of those, I just got them anyway. And then the brackets were about $2 each and I got I think 8 of them. I think yeah, eight. yeah I got 8 of them. And then you're just going to need really, the less other thing you're going to need is just uh, some sort of screw to secure it to your wall. In my case I used drywall screws because it was going straight into the drywall. Now if you're going to be doing like what I did and going into the drywall, you're going to want to make sure you get something that's uh, pretty decent. I got ones that were rated for 50 pounds each, the screws, and you're going to be putting three in. So I actually ended up only putting two in, two screws in, So and that seemed to be fine. Seemed to hold very well. Now, something to note is you're not going to be able to put like your your Xbox on. Actually, you might be able to. I mean, I probably would doubt it. Um, if you dr drilled into a stud, maybe you could probably do that. Um, really, it's really that's up to you whether you want to do that. But uh, I tested it with this the screw gun, which is pretty heavy. And as you can see, when I put it down, it was made a clunk. But and it and it held it. It held it perfectly fine, so um, no issues there. Okay, so now that we got all of them pretty well tightened, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my screw bit, and you're going to want to take a either a wrench or some sort of wrench or pliers. You're just going to want to grab onto the nut right here, and while you're holding that, just on the other side, just just tighten it up. Now this project doesn't really take very much technical skills. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you or handling a Dremel if you never handled any power tools before because it is a power tool so I don't want you guys getting hurt. Right, we're almost done here. Someone's like singing outside my house. All right, as you can see now, these are tightened in pretty well, and I can pull on it all I want, and it's really not going anywhere. So now what we're gonna want to do is just do the same thing on the other side. Now you're gonna want to make sure that you get it the same like distance back from the actual case, otherwise you're gonna run into problems there, um, and the problems being that it's not even. Um, in my case, I have this little groove here, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to, on the upper part, cut a little cutout for that, because otherwise it doesn't close correctly. But, um, yeah, we're, I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. I'll put it on the other side, I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back in the, my uh, room, and now we're going to actually put up the shelf, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. If you already know how to put up the shelf, or how to put up, or drill anything in here. You're all set to go. Now, what I recommend using is a, uh, these are the screws that I use. They're called wall dogs right there. And uh, so if you want to get them yourself, they're right there. And I use these because they are rated up to 50 pounds each, so I really didn't need anything more than that. And I really like them because they don't require any um, pre-drilling. And they seem to work really well because they're they also... Um, Go into wood studs and drywall, so it's. I think they're really great overall screws. Um, they seem to be working very well. Now, if you're looking to do something a little bit, put something a little bit more heavier on it, what I'd recommend using is something called a toggle bolt. And this is a. Hold on, let's see, this is a toggle bolt. Now, I use these things for uh, putting up the HTC Vive lighthouse sensors because the ones that it came with were complete crap. And um, I really don't like the ones that are like the plastic and you drill in and then it fans out behind it. I, I've had nothing but problems with those. So the way that toggle bolt works is um, you put this little piece on, the actual thing that like fans out. You pinch it like this, you drill a hole, you put it into the wall, and then as soon as it gets past the wall, it automatically will open up behind it, locking in place. And then you just tighten it with a screwdriver and it locks into place. These are rated up to, I think, 200 pounds, so these are definitely a lot stronger. All right, so enough blabbering about screws. Let's actually get right on into it. So I'm gonna open up my, my bag of screws. Now, I didn't buy too many of them, so I am only gonna be using two screws each. 
that seemed to be do the job for me. Um, I really don't. I don't think any more would be necessary if you're just gonna be putting, you know, pretty light objects. Because, you know, if you're putting two screws, they're each rated for 50 pounds each on each bracket. Uh, I mean, do the math. That's 200 pounds. So I, I doubt you're gonna be putting anything more on that. Plus, I'm pretty sure that the the bracket itself would probably bend by then. All right. So here's one of the actual shelves, and what I'm gonna do is actually line it up with the one that I have under it. So then it's looks a lot better so let me get my uh, my marker again should have been a little bit more prepared all right sorry about that okay so we got put my screws in my pocket for now okay let's grab the marker oh shit I already dropped the pen and the cap So that seems to be about the height I would want it at. Um, mark. Um, marks. Okay. Now I just want to get this pretty level. I, I mean, if you really want to get sophisticated with it, what you could do is um, use a level, but for me, just eyeballing it is good enough. Alright. That seems to be the spot. Okay. So I got my four marks there. I'm gonna cap with my pen. Also, I do apologize for my hair being such a mess. I, you know, was doing I'm doing a lot of stuff in the room, so I didn't want to wear any nice clothing. All right, so drill. I grab my drill. All right, so now I'm gonna put my screw. Now this is what the actual screw looks like. Hold on. This is what the actual screw looks like. So. It's a really good screw. Now they make them in different colors too. I just got the silver with a white head on it. Um, really for whatever you're using. I, I think that's perfectly fine. You don't really need to use any fancy thing, anything fancy. Because as you see, once you actually, oh you can't see because it's below out of shot. But uh, once you get this all set up, you're not really going to see, you know, you're, you're, if you did it correctly, you're not going to see any of the All right. Let's take a step back. See how that looks. All right. That looks pretty level to me, so I'm gonna put the remaining screws in. Alrighty. Alright. And one last screw. sawdust up. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the most of it. Now, you can see, I can put the drill right on it. And look at that. Holds it perfectly fine. Not a problem at all. And that's even without all of the other cases stacked up. Now, I'm going to put the remaining cases on. Now, you could super glue the cases together as well. It's really up to you. Um, I did that on the bottom, but it didn't seem to hold very well. I think it might just be my super glue being crap. I'm gonna probably get some better super glue. Um, well, not the fact that it's crap. It's, it's pretty old. And that, that's mainly the, the problem. So I'm gonna get some. Probably gonna head to the store tomorrow and pick up some new super glue. All right. So I'm just gonna pick out the games I want. Now you guys could also, you know, take DVD cases and do the same kind of concept. Let me bring it in a little bit closer so you guys can can see it, the final product of it, what it should look like. All right. Look at that. Now that looks pretty good in my opinion. I think that look came out really well. It's definitely this project definitely worked a lot better than I expected it to. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult to do, 
but it was actually really simple to do. And as you can see, then you can show off your, your games. Now, some other thing that I thought of, you know, while I, while I was putting this all together, was you actually, if, you, if you're an Xbox player and you want a place to store all your discs, or your, uh, your cases, because you have so many of them, what you could do is just literally just stack them up, and then you can have a wall of uh, cases, and I think that would be pretty cool looking. Now, what I would probably do is, you know, separate in, like, Every other couple of um, cases, like every, I would say, like between like, like every like 50, maybe, I would uh, put another bracket so then the weight of it doesn't, you know, tip everything over and everything stays nice and in place. All right, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, you could try this out with uh, you know video or DVD cases as well. Um, you could also just take out the paper and make your own, really. Now, if you guys think of any other better way of doing it or any other, you know, cool thing, and if you guys do this yourself, please uh, leave a link to some pictures of it in the description because I would actually like to check that out and see what you guys came up with. Um, I really hope that this, you know, helped you guys. I really haven't seen this done before, um, so I thought it was pretty cool. And it puts, you know, old stuff to new use, and it <laughs> what, cost me, like, four bucks a shelf. Not even, probably. Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So if you if this helped you out, give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it, if not, give it a dislike so I know I'm doing something wrong to, and to change it. And as always, stay classy. Oh, oh yay! Look at that, guys. My kind of...